three-time national champion in Iowa history. He is chasing down number four. Of course, the NCAA championships march in Tulsa. Matt Ramos, 19-2, a champion at the Southern Scuffle. Ramos down to 125 after wrestling at 133 last year. Really good season, Jim, 21-10, and really good in freestyle. Open freestyle champion, so he's pretty slick. He's got some stuff in his toolbox. Yes, he really does, and you know, the guy who spent some time up at 133 with some really good quality wins, and now he shucks by there, gets eventually taken down. Really work, nice work right there. Got a nice little quick angle on Lee. Matt Ramos, 20 seconds in. Still green. Leading top rank, Spencer Lee. He'll give the escape 2-1 score. Spencer Lee getting a fall Friday night inside Carver Hawkeye Arena, pinning Maximo Renteria of Illinois. And the Hawkeyes needed that one because it was 5-5 in matches, but Iowa winning 25-19. They got a couple of pins, one from Lee, another from Mirren. Oh, throw right there for Lee. Ramos. Beautiful. Ramos has Lee on his back. Nice job of Lee of getting back, and that's six points. Eight to one lead right now, Shane. Improve it. Matt Ramos came to wrestle, and he has the three-time national champion against the ropes here early in this first period. Improve it! A couple of takedowns, One. that big toss, as you mentioned, Jim, for six. And this crowd is into it. There you see that last loss. That was at the Big Ten Tournament in Minneapolis in 2019. Spencer Lee has won 44 straight matches. Now you see basically Ramos following up here, holding position. He's reacted really well to these shots of Lee. Lee not able to get to the leg yet. And really at this stage right now, when you're trying to come behind from a six point move, you gotta try to get that escape, which he's been able to do. But the scoring points at the end of the period is really important. If he can cut this lead, you know, back to four, he's within range. He's always gonna be in range because he's Spencer Lee, but he gets a nice takedown. Two red. Ramos gives up the position there. 8-4 match, Spencer Lee's first takedown. You see Tony Ursuline in the background, the head coach at Purdue. And here comes... Here comes the tilt, chain. Patented oh. tilt from Spencer Two, Lee. Three, four. Match is tied. Spencer Holden Lee was four, down 8-1. And now four, seven home. unanswered, and now he's looking for a fall. Spencer Lee adjusting. He's, he's got 25 seconds. He's settling back, and as he does that, Ramos makes one more move back into him. He's got to try to cut that arm through. He can now. Looks like Lee will try to push the legs in right now. He's going to get both legs in. Really putting a lot of pressure on there. Less than 10 seconds, and that's the fall. Spencer Lee down eight one. As he looks at the Purdue crowd. Six hands. Spencer Lee, a fall at 125. What an exciting start in West Lafayette. What a great match sequence that is. You see him getting congratulated by his dad, Larry, right there as he comes off the mat. Let's take a look at this beautiful toss by Matt Ramos here. See how Lee comes up around the waist right here and immediately goes up into the lateral drop. No hesitation on Ramos' part. He gets the six-point move right there. And now Lee answers with an escape, a takedown. And the Matt turn right there. And he follows it up here with this finish up here for the fall. Keeps that shoulder off the map. I tell you what, an eight-point lead is not enough. He was down eight to one. But just like that, and you see the emotion on Spencer Lee. 157 pounds, getting the call today is Caleb Rachi for the Hawkeyes. He'll wrestle Kendall Coleman, ranked third in the country at the weight class for the Boilermakers. Kendall Coleman, 19 and two, had a really good season. He's been a runner up at both the Cliff Keen in Vegas, Phil the Peyton Rob, and most recently at the Southern Scuffle in Chattanooga. Lost 3-2 to Jared Fronick of North Dakota State in the tiebreakers. Two, and there three. you see that freight train double jam. Green control! What, that Green control! Big logo of the, of the uh, boiler right there. 
That's Kendall Coleman here, coming right at you here Bro. into your living room with the straight on double leg shot. And that's what he's kind of known for. And then he's got a beautiful little slide by that he does too when the guy just tries to it's tie set, him up and, you know, create Stay distance, set. so. Green cover legal. Watching him back in 2020 as a redshirt freshman, first team All-American, just shy of 30 wins. I mean, he was on a very quick trajectory, but things slowed down for him a Still little green. bit. No, he's a Big Ten runner-up. He was number six seed in the country, and just Center. talking to Coach Ursuline, may have just gotten a little bit lost in the program, and and uh, he just he was right there, and you know maybe didn't get the opportunity to prove it out. And then with COVID and the, all the separations, and you know, staying with your guys, just maybe lost a little bit of focus there. But he, Coach Ursuline, believes in him, and. Uh, believes that he's the type of guy that can go out there and become an All-American, already ranked third in the country here, so he's back. And uh, I don't think Ursuline could be happier here with what he's seen on a Coleman here early part of this season. Mentioned that great season in 2020, fell to Ryan fingers. Deacon in the Big Out Ten the Finals. Fingers. Then in 2021 was the ninth seed, got hurt at the tournaments. Keep the post clean. But as you said, he is on the track here this season. I'll tell you what, Rachi is well aware of that uh, double from space, and he's going to go ahead and do a nice job. He's putting his hands on the ground, trying to stay low as he possibly can. But this is where the, the part of the match where you start to see that slide by work, snap downs, and posting off the head right there. Referee's going to call potentially Keep dangerous. Keep it above the brows. Keep it above the brows. That's you. Keeping it above the eyebrows. But I think Coleman Woodley kind of was doing that, so. Caleb Rachi, redshirt freshman from Ankeny, Iowa. Four-time finalist, two-time state champion. Really establishing a low stance, getting down as low as he can, understanding that he's got to go ahead and continue, not give Coleman those looks, and then follow it up with a little counter shot of his own once you get that, that space double stopped. 35 6 here in the first 2-1 match. I'm impressed with Rachi. Yeah, well, he's held position, and not many people stand this square. That's that slide by I was talking to you about, Shane, is that you put any pressure into him, he's got a nice combination with that uh, freight train double. Rachi's a 149-pounder. Last year was 4-1. Coming off a runner-up finish at the Soldier Salute where Iowa had eight champions as a team. He fell to Max Mirren in that final seven to four. There's that double from Kendall. Let's take a look at the freight train right here. Gets Rachi coming out of his stance a little bit. Not very much here. And he drives through and he attacked above the knees. But you see how he continues to move his lower body set, there red. and settles Green. down lower Come. below the knee. A little bit of a black eye shiner there working there for Rachi. Green. That's probably, he, he probably walked into the meet with that one. A little riding time, you know, working with the, against the youngster there. Good job of, of Rachi covering the fingers right there Whoa, and Ruduto. getting his feet moving. 2-2 two, two match after that quick escape. So what's important about that is, is that he's got one knee on the Keep mat, one foot on the mat, and another Both foot guys. up stepping up Keep in the clean. tripod position that we Both talked guys. about. When he covers those fingers like that because he can't lock his hands, then he just right. gets up Wait. with a little bit of back pressure and gets his feet moving and gets a quick escape. Here we go. Set. Keeps that riding time down at 39 Get out seconds. Of the grip. Kendall the Coleman grip. from South Holland, Illinois, wrestled at Mount Carmel High School. Couple time runner up. 75 wins in his career in that boiler singlet. And if you notice, Purdue wearing different singlets today. Hammer down cancer. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. But great defense by Rachi to stay square. No doubt about it. So now he stepped over that shin wizard there. And so he's blocking that out with his left yeah. arm. Now he comes over that block. And so, again, Russell, yeah. both guys, Russell like you're in the middle. Yeah. Rachi does that, Nothing makes yet. the roll Nothing back yet. through, gets to a neutral position. You got to be proud of that Rachi effort. Wrestled it like he was in the middle, not on the edge. Crowd appreciates the scramble on the edge. 
Good wrestling by both guys. But what they're going to do is auction off these singlets and raise some money, research, and fight cancer. Good stuff here in West Lafayette on this Sunday afternoon. Great opportunity for Rachi. He's going to look 30. for the upset here to go ahead, get a quick corner, get your shot off here. Don't be sitting out there being target practice for that great double that Coleman has. 20 seconds, Center. second period. Rachi doing a nice job moving forward. Working on the head with collar ties. Been really impressed with his effort. I mean, he came to fight. He had just a 149 pounder bumping up today. Kobe Seabrook has gotten the action at 157. Let's Green take a look at this three. sequence, Shane. You know, take a look at this double leg shot and that little whip over there action. And then Rachi has to fight this off right now. Look at him. Gets that shin wizard, but he doesn't just focus on just trying to get off the mat right here. Now he goes ahead and blocks that leg from coming in. And he's going to make a kind of almost a Herculean effort here just to roll back into that thing and, and to, you know, give himself a chance to compete and get to the neutral position. Now, does he have enough to kind of wear Coleman down a little bit? He's got the uh, quad pod there from Coleman to his feet and gets the escape. Riding time and on factor here in this third period. Saw that freight train double by Coleman, and now the escape to take the lead three to two. It's tougher, you know, when you have that shot from space like that. It's, it's, you get, in the third period, you get guys coming out of their stance a little bit, but the other part of it is, did you have the steam to be able to go ahead and blow through a guy? So you just can't just get to the legs and stop. You got to keep that lower body active. And I've been impressed with Rachi, just the way he's staying on the tracks right now and hand fighting and battling and keeping his feet moving. That's We're another piece of the pies. He's keeping his feet moving. No stall calls in this match. 60 seconds left here in the third. Shot there from Rachi, but straight on. Going to be tough against Coleman. Really going to need an angle. Yeah. Hard with these with the hands on those ties. And if you're Coleman, you have to be aware that, you know, hey, here's a kid here who's gonna try to win this match in the last 44 seconds. He's okay. playing with house money. Yeah, exactly. So you've got to go ahead and understand that shot's coming and, you know, how, do I, Green, how am I gonna score? Selling. And there's a stall call on Coleman. Now he's going hard with that underhook. Coleman backing out of this position. He's already been worn once. There's the whip through, whip over. Whip through, excuse me, kind of limps out of that. Now the go behind. Center. I really like the way Rashi has picked up his pace, but it will be enough. Coleman holding position. Coleman's been hit with stalling once. This will help him. Front headlock. Taking time off the clock. Caleb Rashi represented himself right. extremely well against the third ranked 157 pounder in the country. 197, Jacob Warner, Hayden Filipovich. Warner coming off a tough loss on Friday night to Zach Bronigal. Three to one, Bronigal scored in the final 10 seconds. His other loss to Younger Bastida of Iowa State, four to three. But we know it, Jacob Warner, Jim, when it comes March, you're not betting against Jacob Warner. Well, here's, here's the thing about Warner that we talked about all last year, I mentioned is he's good in the top position. When he gets in top shape, you know, he, he he's can turn guys, okay? And, and he was one of those guys I felt pretty strongly about that at, you know, going into the into the tournament, and actually into the year, that his skills in the top position, staying you know on top of people, finishing periods out on top, and you go back to what happened last year in the national final, semifinals, he's trailing and turns his opponent, Stephen Buchanan, here for a four-point move, and it opens up and he gets into the finals as he gets a takedown there. But you know, when you come back after a break in the season, you you know got to the NCAA finals. I mean, sometimes you for, maybe forget, or you're just not in the, the right condition or frame of mind here to do the things that took you to to get to that point. And I think that's I'm with you, Shane. I wouldn't worry about him here. If he's been there, he's been Finger to this down. tournament several times. He knows how to to adjust to it. He'll be a tough out in a very balanced weight class. And with those nine victories, seven of those with set. bonus points. Stay set. Red but a four-time All-American, 23rd in Iowa history. At the Big Tens and four appearances, three third-place finishes. He was fourth in 2021.
But it's just this stuff right here where he, you know, breaks guys down. It makes him carry his weight. I tell you, we saw a, a master at that the other day at Max Dean in that match with uh, Braxton Amos on, on Friday. So, but these are the things that Warner does really well. He can go ahead Illegal. and tilt you, take you to your back. Correction, what? he was fourth last year in 2022. But yeah, national tournament. 2019, he was seventh, first team in 2020, fourth in 2021, and that runner-up finished a Max Dean of Penn State last March, fell three to two, and 197. I mean, that's a weight class where you got 10, 15 guys that probably believe they got a chance of winning this thing. Yeah, that could finish in the top five. You wrestled every week, and you'd have dozens of different outcomes. Nice job by Warner there there following that up. You know, I, I think, it, you know, it, it's, it's certainly time for him to get going. He's had enough early season losses there. The loss to the Bronicle uh, at, at, in the duel here is it certainly has to be a wake-up call. 4-1 Warner, 35 seconds in the first. Filipovich is from Indianapolis, Indiana, Lutheran High School of Indianapolis. Became I'm, the first state champion in his school's history back in 2021 at 25. 195. He was eighth the year previous at 182, so he's put some weight on, found a growth spurt. Warner has that wrist, head buried in the Resolite. I got a kick out of the headshot that we showed of uh, Jacob Warner at the beginning here, where he's got the, the, the look. <laughs> There's that young man on the team the photo Three. here that had that strange look in their team Top photo. He looks like Warner followed Three that up here because red. he sported the beard. He had red worn the beard five, here, so he actually took the time one, to get a, a, a picture his, his last year that was different. It's much different than the, the freshman Stay Nelson set. Brands picture that we have. Well, Warner's got a big personality. He does. He's funny. I yeah. enjoy my conversations with him. I'm sure he's a little bit down on the Chicago Bears right now, but uh, hey, there's always Who's next not? year. One. Yeah. Quick escape, less than 10 seconds. Now up by four, five to one. But yeah, he's funny. I'm sure he keeps things loose Morning in the Iowa room. Reds yeah. on the attack. Got to have guys like that in your room. Seeing that Iowa corner, Tom Brands to your right with Ryan Morningstar to your left and Bobby Telford. Nice counter shot. Staff, looking for two more. Yep, post it on the hand till he's go ahead and shelf that leg. On the side, he didn't fall down to his shoulder. He kind of stepped and scooted and kept his weight on his hand, left hand right there and switched off to a double. Warner will give the escape as he pushes away Filipovich. Jacks up an underhook and Green, runs him out of bounds. Back out. That's one, red. And that is going to be a stall call backing out on the Boilermaker. So a point to Warner, who now leads it eight to two. Working hard on that underhook. Next up for Iowa at Northwestern next Friday night. And the Boilermakers will face the Fighting Illini next Saturday in Champaign. Good work on the edge. Two. And Warner. Red. Two more. Bring it down. I've been paying a lot of attention here to the edge wrestling. You can just set. tell, you know, who wants the match to stop and, and you Stay know, set. put Red more cover. points up. You see immediately after Warner had those points, slid that right foot off the mat here to get a new Red. start. Jacob Warner looking for his 40th dual meet victory in his career in that black singlet. He's 25 and five in Big Ten duels during his time in Iowa City. And he'll finish this second period on top, riding time over two minutes. Green. Neutral. One down, one down. Filipovich going on Third bottom. Period. Warner showing that optional start. 215 of advantage. He's going to optional start you. Red optional cover. Red. One green. We're neutral. 
Iowa today getting bonus points from Spencer Lee, Brody Teske, Max Mirren with the tech fall at 149. That was the difference against Illinois. Jacking up a couple of underhooks. Couldn't quite get the inside trip right there, but looking for some pressure back so we can just choose a direction and try to go ahead and jack him up with the left hand side and whip him over. But another stall call puts another point on the board for Warner, 11 to 3. Warner this season with three majors, two techs, and a pair of falls. Yeah, his attack rate's up. No question about it. Tom Brand spoke about it following that match against Illinois. We cannot allow people to keep things close, period. Yeah. We are letting Center. that happen, right? And I'm no sure reaction. there's both up. guys in the lineup here that got the message. And uh, like I said, no. Set. Filipovich is uh, no, not necessarily you know high ranked guy to be able to do this, but you know it's got to start somewhere, and you know, Purdue comes along at the right time for these guys to go ahead and get their get their act going again, get your attack rate right up. Now an ankle pick there. Center. See Tony Ursland in the corner letting Filipovich go. Hey, come on, circle back in. Well, he in in, in our call with That's with. Uh, Coach Ursula, you know, hey, you just got to put your nose in it and get going. Set. There's just no substitute for just mi being able to mix it up. I believe he just got hit with stalling again. That's two points. Next one, he'll be disqualified. That fifth stall call, they're disqualified. We saw that on Friday night with Iowa and Illinois as Robluski was no hit control. five times. So Cassiope no got the win by disqualification. And for what it's worth, that's 16 points, just like a pin. 20 seconds. Two. There's two Control. more. One. We're neutral. Break. One. Riding time the point for gentlemen. Jacob Warner, 16-4, major decision guys. for Jacob Warner.